Sex is not marriage, but sex is part of marriage. Sex can be such a stark barometer for a marriage. Love and sex do not sustain a marriage. Sex is about the quality of your entire love life, not the intricate alignment of your bodies. The deepest moments of intimacy occur when you're not talking. A man's first wife never complains of neglect from the penis. The first morsel never complains of insufficient sauce. A woman who is not successful in her own marriage has no advice to give her younger generations. If there were no cold Friday evenings and boring Saturdays, no one would get married anymore. One who pervades the great universe is seen by none unless a man knows the unfolding of love. Take a wife while you are young that she may make a son for you while you are youthful. Getting married is nothing, it's assuming the responsibility of marriage that counts. Instruct a man, you instruct an individual. Instruct a woman, you instruct a nation. Now the marriage begins, says the woman who has been beaten with thorns. The husband is the tie and the wife is the parcel. When the tie breaks, the parcel loosens. The man who says he will not marry a woman with other admirers will not marry a woman. It is only when you look at a bride's eye is when you know she is crying. It is the habit that a child forms at home that follows them to their marriage. A woman married without consultation runs away without consultation. Marriage is like a groundnut, you have to crack them to see what is inside. It is Mr. Old Man Monkey who marries Mrs. Old Woman Monkey. So many little things make a man love a woman in a big way. One who is looking for a wife does not speak with contempt about women. If you laugh at your mother-in-law, you'll get dirt in your eye. If you marry a beautiful woman, you marry trouble. Sadness is a valuable treasure, only discovered in people you love. Don't be so much in love that you can't tell when it's raining. The man that is loved by his wife has no trouble conversing. 